In this video, I'm going to show you how you can both load and change the filament on your Robo E3 printer. First, from the home screen, click on filament. Now you see two options, both load and change. Now load is for when you don't have any filament in your printer. Change is for when you already have one spool in but want to change colors. Since the loading process is the same in both of these two options, I'm going to demonstrate using the change availability here, but if you don't have filament, you can go straight to load. When I click change, the extruder will then start preheating to the designated temperature. While it's doing that, get ready for loading or unloading your filament. To access your filament compartment, look on the right hand side of your printer and you can see this handle at the top. Simply pull on it to release the filament cover. Then you'll see a spool inside like me if you already have filament loaded. If you don't, this will be empty, so get your spool ready by taking it out of its package. Once your printer reaches the appropriate temperature, it will either start pulling on the filament or pushing it out. When changing, it always pulls it in a little bit first and then starts backing up. As it starts pushing the filament back out, roll it nice and neatly onto your spool so that your spool doesn't get tangled. Now we're ready to show you loading filament. The first thing you need to do is make sure there isn't any sort of blob on the end like this. You want it to have a nice, clean, preferably diagonal, cut when you feed it up into the extruder. Now that I have a nice, clean end, I'm ready to load my filament. So you'll notice the filament here is traveling in a clockwise direction so that it feeds nice and smoothly up here right at that arrow. And feed it all the way up until it is touching those two gears. Now hold it in place when you go over to the screen. I click OK and it will start immediately pulling the filament and it will do so pretty quickly right at the beginning. So while it's doing that, I'm just going to set it here onto my spool holder and sort of hold it in place. After the first few seconds, it will slow down and you can place the filament cover back in place on your printer. This whole time, the filament will be feeding through the filament guide tube. Now it normally takes about a minute to a minute and a half to go all the way through the tube and into your extruder back over here. So simply hold tight, you can sort of watch the filament as it travels through this tube. And when it's all the way through, you'll see it start feeding out of the extruder. There you go, you can see it is feeding nice and smoothly in a straight line. If it sort of bubbles a little bit right at the end, wait till it starts going smoothly down and then click OK. Your filament is now ready to go.